Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I am going to tell you how we can convert any photo into a cartoon effect or cartoon. Uh, now you may have seen these kinds of effect uh, in wedding invitations or engagement invitations. So what people usually do, they take any photo from the internet of bride and groom and they replace the faces using these cartoon effects. So we can create something similar. You can use it in wedding invitations or you can use it generally. So let's get right into it. So first of all, take any photo that you want. So I have chosen this photo over here. Now uh, there are two parts. So we can we need to convert the entire photo into a painting first so that the cartoon effect doesn't look too different from the original photo. So we need to convert this into a painting like effect. It doesn't have to be precise, but we need to convert it. So we can do this uh, in two ways. First of all, let me remove the background. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the background. But while you are doing this, do it properly. So I'm going to remove this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this using Ctrl J or Command J. So duplicate. Now using the filter menu now you can use either use uh, oil paint filter or you can use filter gallery. So I'm going to use filter gallery for this particular example now using this artistic cutout filter or dry brush filter you can create or you can convert a photo into painting like effect. It doesn't have to be uh, precise but just uh, make sure that it doesn't look realistic, photorealistic. So we just need to convert it into a painting like effect. So this looks good to me. If you're not, no, if you're not happy with the result, you can always change the values. So for now, I'm going to press OK. So this is before and this is after. This is how it looks now. For the second part, so we have converted this into a painting like effect now. For the second part, for the face, we are going to use a website called as toonme.com. Toonme.com is a free website. So from this plus mark over here, we can choose any photo that you want. So I'm going to choose the same photo. Press open. So it will convert your photo into a cartoon effect depending upon your internet connection it will whatever time it will take so as you can see it has converted this into a cartoon effect but we have so many options like this we have different options and all really cool but i need this effect over here if you have seen uh, disney's movies like tangled or frozen so this is the kind of effect that they have used in that uh, animation movie animation princess effect you may have seen the movies. So I want this one. You can choose any effect that you want, but I want this one. So we get a watermark over here, but we can remove this watermark using Photoshop. So click on download and download the photo first. So download on your computer. Now open the photo in Photoshop. Now we need to replace this face or we need to put this face on this photo so just like morphing place it properly and if you are not able to see the or if you are not able to place it properly you can always decrease the opacity of this layer so that you can see it properly and if you want to increase or decrease the size you can do that I am happy with the result so I am going to increase the opacity now and using the layer mask option we can always match the hair and other area like this. So this is looking pretty neat to me. If you are not happy with the hair you can always choose the hair like this. As you can see this is looking pretty good to me. So this is before and this is after and if you are feeling that the color is a bit saturated so you can always decrease the saturation using the hue saturation option 
layer option you can always and first we need to use the clipping mask option so that it only affect this layer and we can decrease the saturation like this so it will look something like this this is before and this is after this looks pretty good to me so using the hue saturation adjustment layer we have decreased the saturation of this particular photo now i'm going to select this and i'm going to bring it to center and you can always change the background color or background design as per your liking so this is how it will look so this is looking pretty good to me so this is before and this is after we will take another example so if you see in this particular example the feet are not visible so we are, we are going to use one photo with the entire feet so i am going to choose this photo over here first of all we need to convert this into a painting like effect and this for this particular example i am not going to remove the background because you already know how to remove the background so i am just going to copy this using control j or command j copy and using the filter menu filter gallery i am going to convert this into a painting like effect i am using the phrase painting like because it is not really a painting but it looks like a painting so maybe i will increase some values brush size and i'll press okay so this looks pretty good to me and again i'm going to this website tunmi.com and again i'm going to choose the photo same photo so it will again convert our photo into cartoon effect it will take time according to your internet speed so again this app has converted this in, this into a cartoon effect so this is how it will look this is how it looks we have so many different and really cool effect on this particular website so again i need this effect this is again a different effect but i need this disney like effect so i'm again going to press download and save it on your computer and again open it in photoshop so we don't need this photo and place it on the photo original photo again if you are not able to place it properly you can always decrease the opacity so that you get an idea on how to place the and on how to and where to place the image exactly again i am going to increase the opacity again using the layer mask option and if you know <coughs> black color hides so using layer mask so this is how it looks again if you are not happy with the saturation you can create an adjustment layer hue saturation adjustment layer again you need to clip it using the create clipping mask option so that it doesn't affect the remaining layers and again decrease the saturation like this not too much so this is how it looks so this is the original image and this is what we have done so it is this easy to convert any photo into a cartoon effect you can use it anywhere especially on wedding invitations or engagement invitations you can replace the face of bride and groom using this particular cartoon effect it looks pretty cool i have used it looks pretty cool and people also like this so you can always practice this with different images and you will have fun with this and it is also a good exercise for your creativity imagination so do give it a go and let me know in the comment section how uh, how, how are you how your results are and if you find this video useful give this video a like and 
subscribe to my channel so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers